Hi guys Hi guys Okay the voice is good So let me just mute on my other device Hi Let's get started in some time So okay, we are having 5 people Hi everyone I hope you are doing good. I hope you are enjoying the weekend. So, uh, what are we going to do in this live session first of all? So, we are, I already published one video regarding Flutter block that covered theoretical part. So, if you have not watched that part, that video, it's totally fine because I'm going to cover that uh, theory also in this video and we are going to make one simple project and if you have made this project then i guarantee that you can make any kind of application whether you are making it for internship uh, or for a job or for your college project you can easily make it for your uh, project right uh, so why do we learn flutter block can somebody answer in the chat box or i'll answer like why do you want to study flutter block what is the purpose of learning the state management tool why do you want to learn it so let's see if someone answers Till then I will check if everything is working fine. So I can see one answer by Shamshu that uh, clean architecture. So uh, Shamsha, like, are you uh, saying that we want that you want to learn Flutter block to apply clean architecture, or you want to also learn clean architecture? So let's get started. And what are we going to first of all build in this project? So I hope that you can see a simple UI, right? So uh, as you know that uh, in e-commerce applications or in any kind of application where you have to select, pro uh, select products or like products, then you uh, must be seeing this kind of UI. It's a very, very basic UI. It's just a uh, simple UI. So where I'll be having one app bar where there is a like button, there is a card button, then a lot of products will be listed in the list, right? In using a list view. And I just want to hit the like button. So my product should be added in the wish list. If I click on this cart button, it should be added in the cart section. So it looks very, very easy. Like you can build this application in like 20 minutes, 25 minutes. But, but the target over here is to make it using Flutter block state management, right? So why do we learn state management? Or uh, first, let's see the answer that Shamsha, Shamsha has given. Block gives state management as well as architecture, not sure. Yeah, you are absolutely right. Block gives a state management. Block is a state management library. What are the other state management libraries? Provider is there, GetX is there, Riverpod is there. But most of the companies uh, are using Flutter Block because it is easy to understand. And it clearly uh, separates the business logic from the UI, from the network logic, right? So now I have mentioned three words, business logic, UI, and my network logic, right? So let's first try to understand this. So uh, when I talk about UI, it's clearly simple that uh, uh, it's clearly simple that uh, UI will be just my columns, rows, widgets, screens, pages. Uh, when designer gives you the Figma design, you just need to code that UI. So that is my code. Uh, that is my UI part, right? Now there is some network logic. In my network logic, 
my api calls are there my database connections are there or everything that is happening on the back end my network logic will handle now in between them we have business logic which is going to get a connection between my ui and my network logic right so business layer that is block right it is going to act as a layer between my ui and my network logic so that i can keep it clean and that happens in the clean architecture that my ui is not getting mixed with my api calls my ui is totally separate from the logical section of my application right so business logic is the layer that we are going to study today so as i just told that now there is a question uh, flutter with node js spring boot which should i prefer i'll prefer that if you are beginner then go with node js express js because it will be easier for you to get internships right because most of the startups most of the companies are currently using node js express js for the back end then if you'll make some projects in node with flutter it will be very good for your resume spring boot obviously it's an advanced uh, back end framework that you can learn after learning or after making some pro uh, projects in flutter with node uh, this will be my suggestion right so this is a simple ui that you can actually build in 20 25 minutes but what we want to do is uh, we want to make it using block now if you have watched my uh, flutter block video right in that i i told you that uh, uh, in block we have events and we have states now it, i will not go deeper into the theoretical part i'll just code it because this complete video is based on uh, coding so let's get started first of all uh, i i want to get data so in this video i'm not going to teach you firebase or mongodb that obviously you already know how to uh, crud how to do crud operations on mongodb or on firebase right so i'll just take a simple dart file in that for dart file only i'm going to store my data my main focus on this video will be to show you how to uh, actually build your ui how to actually code an application using block right so let's get started so to build my uh, sample data set or uh, sample database i'm just going to use chat gpt so let's get started i'll i'll say chat gpt that please generate a dart file where some products are listed grocery products right so uh hey can you give me a dart list of maps where sample grocery products are there so it's not bad that uh, i am using chat gpt it's totally fine you just need to fasten up your work so that it's totally fine that you can use chat gpt so it is giving me some walmart trader so i think it did not understand so let me show you what i got previously yes so let me just make it full screen yeah so this why i was expecting in this live session but as you know that things don't go well in life so i was already ready with this list so which chat gpt only generated so let me just copy it and you can see that it is just a list of maps my products are there right and some for every product i'm having one id i'm having one name description price and the image url right so this is my simple uh, flutter application i have not done anything over here so uh, let's first of all build one features folder in which my three features will be there one will be my home page second will be my cart third will be my wish list right and i'm going to create one uh, data folder and let's make a grocery data dot dart file and i'm going to say class grocery data and i will paste my list over here and as you know that i want to access this list so i have to make it static simple op concept right i'll just make it small and over here i can see that id is there name is there uh, description price and image url so image url is not a correct image url so i'll just uh, go on the internet and i'll search for banana fruit to get one uh, image just paste it over here i'll search for grapes i'll paste it okay this is okay i'll make it grapes this is good then i'll search for bread copy image address i'll make it bread so basically you don't need to do this if you are 
actually working with firebase or with mongodb you can actually uh, like do some crud operation so this is not a valid url I'll search for X. Let's uh, put it till here only. Let's not waste time in finding the URLs. And let me just delete these two products. Let's start with four products, right? So this is my basically a list of maps which you can actually get from your database uh, using a just a simple retrieve call, right? So now uh, in my features folder, let me make three folders. First will be my home folder. Second will be my uh, wishlist folder and third folder will be my card folder, right? So basically these are my features, right? I want to build in this complete pro uh, project, I want to build three screens or three features, my home feature, my card feature and my wishlist. Okay, so let's get started with the main dot dot. I'll just delete everything. Let's do it from scratch. Hi Samuel, how are you? I hope that you are doing great. So let's create a void main function. And guys, if you have any doubts regarding Flutter or how to get an internship, you can ask on the chat. I'm, I'm actually seeing the chat right now. So you can ask anything on the chat. Run app, new my app. Let's create a stateless widget, my app. And you can see this uh, blue dots, uh, blue line, right? So many people ask me that why are we seeing blue lines? So actually they're lints. That means they are actually guiding you that this is not the correct way of uh, writing your syntax, right? So uh, you can actually go in analysis options.eml and you can control A and comment it out. If you just don't want to focus on lints. So in my, this video also, I'll just not focus on lints because they are actually going to uh, consume some time, but it's not a good practice. If you are making the uh, code, if you're writing the code for company, do uh, like uh, apply the lints and it will guide you that this is not the correct way of writing Flutter code, right? So in this return, I'm going to return a material app. And over here, I'm going to define my home and write my home. So for this home, I'm just going to go in my home folder, create my home dot dart file. Basically, if we just want to make it standard, so let's create a UI folder in home. And in this UI folder, I'm going to put my home dot dart because in this home, I, I also want to have my block folder. So it will keep it very uh, clear, clear, right? So in this home dot dart, I'm just going to create a stateful widget. Let's call it home. And in the main dot dart, I'm going to call my home. So let's see some uh, doubts. Uh, how to get internship in Flutter development? So I uh, there is one simple uh, trick or tip or mantra that uh, you can use and you can get internship in any, any tech stack, not just Flutter. Make pro uh, make projects and put your portfolio like publicly, right? Whatever you are doing in your college, whatever you are doing in tech industry, put it on LinkedIn, put it on Twitter or any other platform. As I did in my second year, I started this YouTube channel and I was just uh, publishing my pro uh, projects using which I got my internship. So this is a simple trick that I tell everyone. Uh, I shifted from Flutter to native and development. Is it fine? Yes, it is totally fine. Uh, I will suggest you that don't get shifted to Android completely. Have a hands on on Flutter also. It's good that you're learning native because it is going to uh, get your concepts very, very clear. So uh, practice Flutter and native both, right? So I'm ready with my home dot dot and let's go in home and let's make it scaffold so that I don't see the black screen that I'm seeing right now. Perfect, my scaffold is ready. In this scaffold, I'm going to have an app bar. Perfect. Let's give a title. Akshit's grocery app, Akshit grocery app. Perfect. 
okay now let me remove this debug banner also i just don't like it okay now it's time that we start with block right in my cart also i'm going to have a ui folder in my wish list also i'm going to have a ui folder and now in my home uh it's it's necessary that you have a block plugin a block extension of vs code uh installed otherwise you won't get an option that i'm going to see, uh, show you right now so in the home folder i'm clicking uh, i'm right clicking on the home folder and you can see block new block right so i'm just going to click on it so it is asking me what that what is the name of the block that i want to make i will say home block so enter so now you can see that in my home i'm having a block folder right same thing i'll do for cart block cart block so for every feature we have to make a separate block logic right because every feature will have a separate logic so what is block block is just block business logic right so for every feature we need to have a block folder and in that folder we are going to write logic right so cart is having its block folder now wish list will also have perfect now if you have watched my uh, flutter block theory uh, video then you know that for block what we have whenever we want to do anything anything on the ui right anything you want to do we pass an event right we pass an event to the block to the block and block takes that event do some logic uses its brain and pass one state and this state is going to update my user interface my ui that's it same thing we are going to do right now right so what uh, what are the uh, probable uh, so let me just close this this is not looking good i just searched it to get the data for my grocery items if you don't know if you just joined the chat uh, live right now so uh, what this is the thing that we are building right now so what do you think what are the probable uh, events that can take place on this screen can someone write or i'll tell you till then i'll just see the doubts that your guys are asking what is the best job between a data scientist or data architect so i'll say that first of all you should get some internships in uh, data science field or data analytics field then later on you can switch to data architect data architect is basically the person who deals with data on day to day basis so first of all you should actually do some internships in uh, data analysis field the actual uh, internship where you are going to deal with data right how to get internship do you working now so uh, recently i was working as a flutter developer intern in ticker tape which is by zerodha uh, small case sorry and uh, currently i'm working on my own startup so this was a question correct so pratik is absolutely right that all these buttons that he can see on the screen are going to route to a different page and those page pages are going to have their own logic right as we show showed i as i just showed you right now my wish list is going to have its own logic my cart screen is going to have its own logic i can like a product i can add this product to a cart these are the simple events right now when i'm going to click on this heart uh, button then an event is taking place now when i'm adding an event i'm expecting that some state should be emitted right this is a simple logic for this card also as i'm clicking i'm adding an event my block will do some calculations that hey this person is adding this product to the card i need to add it it will do at the back end and it is going to return me a state that hey the product is added to the card go and update the ui this will be the state simple right let's do it so in my block let me just clear this this is my block file right let me just make it small so what is it saying let me just clear it mm, this is new let me just delete this block folder for now i think this is a plugin issue 
that I'm seeing right now. Okay, got it. Not a plugin issue. I am just I just did not add the plugins over here. So when you are working with block, you have to add a dependency. So add block and add flutter block. Let me just save it. It will be clear right now. Yes, you can see all the errors are gone. So I just forgot to add the dependency in my pubspec.yml. So these are the silly errors that we coders make and we spoil our life. So that is fine. Hi, Jakairo. I hope you are doing good. Nice name, by the way. So let's get started. So first of all, whenever you are writing a block or business logic, you have to think of the events, right? So in my home block, what are the events that can take place? So class, I can say that my product, so my product is in home home file. So home product, wishlist, button, clicked, event. This is an event. So this is a class name. It is going to extend my home event, right? So this is simple inheritance. Okay, this is my first event. Let's copy it. Product cart button clicked event, right? This is my second event. Third event is that I want to go to a certain page. So it will be home wish list button navigate clicked event or navigate event. And my fourth event will be home cart button navigate event. Perfect. So these are the four events that can take place currently in my application. I am building a simple app, right? Perfect. Thanks, Aman. I know that this was a much needed session. So I hope that you will learn a lot from this session. So these are the four events, right? Now let's think about the states. What states can be emitted from the block? So class, first of all, uh, we need to make one more abstract state, right? So one state can be that is going to build my UI, right? Whenever I will be going inside the app, my UI should be built, right? So this is going to be handled using home state. But some are the states which will be actionable states, right? The states, if I get those state in my UI, I want to take some action, right? So those will be actionable states. So some are build states and some are action states. So in event, we add only one type of event that it's a simple event. I'm just passing some data. It's a simple event, but states are of two types, simple states that are going to build my UI and uh, some are actionable states, right? So I'm going to make one abstract class. Home action state. It is going to actually extend my home state. Right now think about all the states and you have to now decide whether this state is a home state or it is a home action state, whether this state is going to take some action or it is going to build my UI, right? So my class home loaded action state, oh, sorry, not action state. It will be loaded success state. Now, what is this state? Now, when I'm opening the app, my API call will be made to the server that, hey, I want to fetch the products. Currently, we are not having any server, but in actual case, it will be happening like this, right? My server is going to return me the data. So it is going to take some time, right? So between that time, I want to show that loading circle avatar or not avatar, the loading bar, right? So it will be class home loading state. And as it's a UI building, so it will be home state. Perfect. Now my data is loaded. I've received my data. My app has received the data. So loading is done. It is a success state, right? So again, it will be a rebuilding of the UI. Now my circle bar should be removed and my actual products list should be visible. So again, it's a home state, not an action state. Now, if some error has occurred, so my home, error state will be uh, emitted. So I want to show some error widget. So it will be home state, not a home action state. Now, what are the probable uh, action states that can take place in my app? 
for this home page not for cart not for wish list so one action state can be home navigate to wish list page so when i'm clicking on this button i want to navigate to a wish list page so this is an action state my some action needs to be taken right so wish list page wish list page action state and it is going to extend to home action state not home state one simple thing again navigate to cart page perfect so these are the two action states let's uh, make it till now uh, till here and let's see uh, what other action states can be required in the future right so now let's go to my uh, ui and now my ui should be listening to the states that my block is emitting and it should also accept the events that the user is passing simple logic right so this is not going to work simple scaffold with app bar is not at all going to work right so i need to wrap this with a block consumer right so what does a block consumer do it is going to listen to the events also it is also going to listen to the states that are being emitted also so let's press enter and my block consumer is going to wrap my scaffold right so let's import flutter block and this is going to be my home block state will be home state home state and i need to pass the block so we haven't yet created the block yet so i'll say final home block home block is equal to home block so i'm not using dependency injection because that will be out of the scope for this video so i'm just creating an instance of a class home block right perfect so let's write block it's a parameter and it is going to take my home block so let's format it sorry not like this perfect now i'm having listener i'm having builder and i'm having listen when and i'm going to have a build when perfect so these are the parameters that we are going to populate right now right let's see so let's see the doubts if there are how to manage time in internship or for self study so i started my youtube channel i was doing two internships when i was in college so it's it's totally dependent on how you are managing your time and that is your question so you need to plan out your next one month so what i do is whenever i have to whenever uh, uh, i'm doing so many tasks at the same time of the day i actually manage or actually plan my next one month so what are what are all the things that i need to manage in my next one month right and according to them i plan my day so it's all dependent on a time management or your time table i don't wake up at 4:20 am or 5 am as some of the instagram reels say that uh, wake up at 5 am or 6 am it is going to totally change your time i wake up uh, at 9 am sometimes at 10 am and it also and it is totally fine i just manage my day and all my uh, like day tasks are getting handled so <laughs> i hope this is helpful so let's focus on uh, the thing let's make two buttons over here one is my heart button and one is my cart button so app bar i'm going to have actions icon button favorite border uh let's go on favorite and i'm going to have one more icon button cart uh basket is there can someone write in the chat what is the icon name for a cart is it shopping cart yes shopping bag will also do fine flutter is irrelevant or future relevant 
absolutely it is relevant in 2020 only it crossed uh, react so if you will go on google trends and search for two keywords react and flutter you will see that in 2020 flutter already crossed react right so it is obviously the best framework i would say currently in the market for building softwares apps web apps games also you can build so obviously it is future relevant so we have two buttons let me just save the file there is one error yeah so over here i'm just going to make it null i can say for now so what is it saying yeah so for now let me just comment this listen when and build when yeah i can see my two icons so let make this favorite also as border so that they both look same correct and as we are having a grocery app so i think it's good that we have uh i guess theme data uh let's keep it white theme only what does it take it takes theme data primary color let's keep it colors dot teal let me refresh okay uh, it's not yet updated we'll see the error what is the error so now when i'm pressing on this icon button i want to add an event to my block that i want to navigate correct so i can say that in this uh, icon button that uh, my home block dot add my home navigate to wish list page uh it's not a state sorry it will be a event so have i built that event card but okay so it was not navigate event it is wish list button clicked event so i'll just say like this i'll format it i hope that you can see let me make it small yeah so i'll have the same thing for the next page uh, sorry the next icon home cart button clicked product yes so let me format it save it correct now if i go on my event and i've built events or i've added events from the ui for these two buttons uh not these two buttons these two buttons right now to handle these two events in my block so i'll just copy this and i'll just remove like this and i'll say on so my block is going to say that on this event pass this state on this event pass this state so on this event run a function which is going to be called this right and i'm going to create a function for this click on this bulb create a method so my a function is made let me make it small you can see a function is made right now i'll do it do the same thing for my this event let's make a method perfect so these are the two events that i have created now for for now let me just click on let let me just say print wish list clicked and for this event let me just say print uh cart clicked right let me just save it and now let's just see the debug console if i click on this nothing is happening so let's refresh where can i make the best animations for my splash screen so one is lotti lotti animation l o t t i e and one is rive animation r i v e there you can make 3d and 2d animations so let me click on this okay some error is there let's just solve it 
Stater was thrown while handling a gesture home button event was called without register event handler. Make sure to register e handler via home wishlist button navigate event. Okay, I think some issue is there in the naming. Let me just see. So we have card button clicked event, we have wishlist button clicked event. Okay, over here I'm calling a home wishlist button. Okay, this is the issue. I'm calling a navigate event. This is not the right thing. Home wishlist. Okay, okay, okay. Got it. So these two navigate events were for these two, right? Okay, got it, got it, got it. So this will be card button navigate. Card button navigate will go over here. And my wishlist button navigate will go over here, right? And for this events, I also need to manage these two events. So let's make uh, event handlers for these two. So on this, I want to run this function. So let's make it like this, create a method. And my next event was card button navigate event. Mm, let's handle this. So this is how I handle methods in my block file. Perfect. Let's make a method for this. Perfect. So now I'm having handlers for everyone. So it is wishlist product uh, clicked or cart product click. So this will be two events which will be called when I'm clicking on wishlist and cart from my product type, not from the app bar. And these two are the ones which are going to get called when I click them through my app bar. So let's just print and it will be cart navigate clicked. Uh, it is wishlist navigate clicked, sorry. And this is my cart navigate clicked. So let's just save it. Now let me just refresh. Yes. So wishlist navigate click, that means my block is listening to my event and cart navigate click. Perfect, perfect. It is totally fine right over here. So if you have any guys, you can, uh, if, you, if you guys have any doubt, you can ask on the live chat. I'm taking a pause of one minute, right? So that it doesn't get too much for a moment. So I guess there is no doubt block versus flutter block. No, there is no actual difference. They both are the same, but you need to add both the plugins in your dependency because some uh, packages are handled or some uh, classes are handled in block and some classes are handled in flutter block. So that's why you need to add both the plugins uh, in, your in your dependencies. Is getx state management good for flutter? Yes, it is also good. It is very simple. Uh, before flutter block if you have uh, worked with getx it it actually is very good because uh, it is easy to learn but companies are not using getx they are using block so that's why block is actually preferred in uh, uh, flutter industry that's why so you are following clean architecture right some at till some extent i am following clean architecture that means i created a features folder and i i uh, so basically if we had to uh, follow the clean architecture to the top level, then I actually have, uh, must have uh, in my home folder, I must have a data folder, my domain folder, uh, then my UI folder. I am having a UI folder, but I'm not having data and domain. So basically you need domain folder to register your repositories. So you need repositories when you have a database or your servers and your UI, your Flutter, uh, Flutter app should be communicating with that uh, servers. But here we, we are just having a local database. That's why I have not coding that because it will actually divert the, uh, you know, uh, the focus from block to clean architecture. So that's why I'm just making, making it simple. So let's, uh, now work on navigate navigation part. So I need to emit some states. So let me just make it small. Provider, you can say that, uh, so let me give you a simple analogy. So first, at first position, it is block. 
second position it is getx as uh, not getx provider third position it is riverpod and fourth position it is getx right so wish list navigation uh, clicked i'll emit a state home product navigate to wish list action state right and over here i'll emit a state that will be home navigate to cart page action state perfect now these two are the action state that means when i am going to uh, get these states i want to take some action right so i need to listen to these states and then perform some action right so i'll go in my ui home.dart and in my listener in my listen when also i'll say that i only want to listen when i get an action state and i only want to build when i don't get an action state right so here i will say my current and my current is not an home action state if it is not an home action state but it is it is definitely a home state so i want to build my ui when i get a home state but i want to take some action when my state is action state right uh, home action state sorry yeah so i hope these two are clear now let now let's uh, listen to my states so i will say if my state is home uh navigate to cart action state then i want to navigate navigator dot push navigator push and my route will be material page route builder will be context and it is going to uh, reach to my uh cart page so it will be cart i think we haven't made the cart page so let's make the cart page so i'll say cart dot dart stateful widget cart and this will be scaffold right let's import material dot dart and similarly i'm going to have a wish list page wish list dot dart and it will be a stateful wish list this will be scaffold now i can navigate to these two pages so it will reach to my cart page and i will say else if my state is home navigate to wish list action state then i want to navigate to wish list page so let me just format i hope that these two are also clear not a rocket science i'm just getting my state and taking some action getting my state taking some action simple right now let's see if we just get navigated to these two pages so let me just refresh so which architecture uh, you prefer personally for big projects definitely clean architecture i have worked with clean architecture currently i am whatever project i build uh, for my personal use or for uh, some startups i use clean architecture right because if you are not using clean architecture and if you'll go in some internships then it may create some problem right so use clean architecture learn it once it is super easy will you upload this video after streaming yes definitely this video will be live and it will be always there on my youtube channel so now if i click on this wish list you can see i'm getting navigated let me go back if i click on you can see wish list navigation clicked if i click on cart you can see cart navigation clicked so i'm getting navigated also right now it's time that we start building the products ui right so why was my app bar let's give some background color app colors sorry not app colors colors dot teal perfect it looks like a grocery app now 
why not using android studio uh, so i have been working with uh, visual studio for more than 3 years now so actually i using visual studio you can actually change the theme so you can see that my vs code theme is currently github theme and you can get a lot of hundreds and thousands of themes over here it's easier to uh, manage the extensions you can download a lot of extensions it is easier to push your code to github so i am just addicted to the visual studio ui that's why i use vs code not android studio so now in my so yes now let's talk about the product building right so for my product building it's definitely obvious that i will need some data models so now data models is also part of clean architecture so in this video if you don't know about data models you are going to learn that also so this is cool right so what i'll do is i'm in my uh, home folder only i'm going to create a models folder and i'm going to say my home product data model dot dart so this model is going to actually represent a product the grocery product right so i'll say a class home or it's not home is also not necessary because product model will be uh, similar for cart and wishlist so product data model and it is every product you assume that this class is a product and for every product i'm going to have an id so final string id i'm going to have the product name so name i'm going to have the product description description i'm going to have double price so this is noticeable double price and i'm going to have the image so final string image url so these this act this class actually represents a grocery product right so let me make a constructor generate a constructor and this is fine right so this is my product now when i'm going to load my home page i i want to get list of grocery products right so i can say that in my block in my state when my loaded success state is emitted i want to get list of products so this class should actually have final list of products data model product data model right and this will be called products and i'll create a constructor right because success state that means my page is loaded so i want to have my products list so i am passing that products list now in my block in my uh, initial okay this is good now as soon as my app is opening as soon as my app will open i want to pass a initial state or initial event not state initial event now that initial event is going to emit my success state load is success state or it can emit a loading state or it can emit a error state right so i'll say that class home initial fetch event or initial event right and it is going to extend my home event right let's format it perfect it looks good now now initial event will be handled so let's copy it in my block first event should be my initial event let's create a method for it and let's create a method for it and it should not be at the last it should be at the top because this will be my first method that will be called when my app will open right so let me make it small now when my initial event is added to the block i want to emit some states but think logically first state will be a loading state right so i want to whatever is the case i want to emit a loading state so home loading state now as we are not having mongodb or firebase currently we are dealing with local database so it is not going to take some data uh, take some time to fetch the data so i'll purposefully add await so await means async await future dot delayed duration uh, seconds let's say 3 seconds so after these 3 seconds i want to emit my 
home loaded success state and it is going to take some products. Now from where will I get these products, right? So in my, uh, if you are watching this uh, stream from the starting, I add, I had this data folder in my data folder. I'm having this static list of maps. You can see a list of maps I'm having right now. This products list should be my list of those maps, but they should be mapped to my product data model. So how can we do this? Can someone answer? Let's see till then I'll, uh, uh see the questions. How many languages, you know, so I know Dart, Python, TypeScript. So these are the main languages that I work with in my daily life. And I'm currently planning to learn Go so that I can make Go servers. But currently I know Dart, Python and uh, TypeScript. Uh, thanks Harshit. I, that means a lot. I'll be keep uploading such videos and they will be added to that playlist. So uh, someone is asking that, are there any offline classes in India which teach Flutter? So I don't have any information or maybe if I have information, I'll be having so that information about my own city. So I live in Pune. So I actually never tried to search it, but yeah, you can directly search on the internet about Flutter classes, offline classes in your city. I am not pretty sure that there will be some in India, but uh, I think that to solve your problem, you can actually get a uh, one-on-one -on -one session with someone, uh, the person who will uh, have a meet with you or Zoom meet with you, or Google meet with you, uh, and he can teach you personally. So I guess that will be really helpful. Love from Nepal. Yes, that's great. Love from India too. So now let's think. So I'm having this uh, grocery data. So let's copy this class and let's say grocery data dot grocery products, which is my list. Now for every list item, every list element, I want to map it. So dot map, this is a function which is written in list class of dart. So enter it. Now this is my every element. Now this element is actually representing one map, right? So let's go over here for every map, for every element, I want to map it to product data model. So product data model. Let me format it. Perfect. For every product data model, I'm having one ID, right? So ID, I can say that E at ID e is just a map. I, as I just told that E is just a map. So E is this ID, right? So E at ID, then it will be E at name. Then it will be E at description. Then it will be E at price and it will be E at image URL. Now there is some big error so that we can solve it by making it a list. So dot to list. Perfect. I hope that this is clear. What I did was I just took this list of maps and for every map I converted it into a product data model so that I get product data model, right? So my this state will be emitted. Now, first of all, to emit this state, to get this state in my UI, I need to add this initial event, right? Otherwise I won't get it. So go over here, go in my UI file. In the class, I'm going to have a init state. Now in this init state, why init state? Because as soon as my app opens, I want to uh, add the initial event. So in this init state, I want to say my home block dot add and it will be home initial event. Save it. So I will, I'm passing this event in my init state and I'm going to get my init, uh, my success state, right? So over here in my builder, I want to have my scaffold. This is good. And uh, let's, let's, let's remove this scaffold for now. Uh, let's remove this return also. I'll show you what I'm doing. This is my builder. This is my UI builder, right? So over here, I want to, I can have multiple states. I can have a loading state. I can have error state and I can have success state, 
I cannot have any other navigation action state because in my build when I just said that my state should not be an action state. And if that state is not an action state, then only I will get that state in my builder, right? So I can pass a switch state, a switch statement, state dot runtime type. And over here, I can get three build states, three states, right? First one can be home loading state, home loading state. Second will be a home loading, a loaded success state, right? And it will have a break statement. Then third case can be a error state. So home error state, right? And I'll have some statement over here. So these are the three states that need to be handled in my builder. So in my loading state, I'm just going to say, so let me just paste that scaffold so that I don't miss it. I want to return a scaffold with body. Uh, why it is not having body? This is weird. Let's write scaffold again. Body. Okay, it's not. Yeah, yeah, it was there. This is really not good. Let me write it like this scaffold body what is happening mm, maybe because of the error that we have over here framework container let's remove it yes yes perfect so in my body i just want to have center and in my center i just want to have a child circular progress indicator perfect and if my loaded success is there then i want to return this part so i'll just return this if my success state is there right i'll just format it if my error state is there then i'll say return a scaffold with body center child text error perfect now let's see what we get and default is not handled so in my default i'll just say return a sized box because this is not uh, going to this is we are not going to receive it so now i can actually click on refresh you can see one two three okay it's not passed what is happening this is not good we are having something okay type int is not a subtype of string okay let's see uh problem is over here some part is int okay okay my id is actually an integer and let me make it string one then let's two and let's three then let's four now one more thing we learned from this that i can see my circular progress indicator because my block as soon as it received the initial event, it emitted this loading state. This loading state was received by my home.dart and it showed this progress indicator, but I never got my loaded success state. Why? Because the error came in this part, in this part. That's why my emit, my uh, success state was never received, right? So actually I should have used try catch. And if I get some error in catch, then I should emit an error state, but let's leave it for now. And, uh, now let's refresh and let's see that after three seconds, do we get the success state? Let's see. Mm, let's refresh. Yeah. So after three seconds, I got my uh, success state. So yeah, for one-on-one -on -one session, you can actually mail me and there we can talk for sure, right? So you can see that, let me show you again, what is happening. First of all, my loading state is emitted, then uh, future.delayed, that means I gave a delay of three seconds. You can see my loading state is emitted, some delay of three seconds. So for three seconds, my loading state will be there. And after that, my success state is there. The same way in my UI file, first in the case, switch case, I'm going to get a loading state. So my progress indicator, 
then after three seconds i'm going to get my success state so this is built let me refresh and let's see one two three i got it perfect so now what i want to do i want to show my products right let's do it so for that i'm going to get in my features home ui then i am going to build one file called product tile widget dot dot let's create a state uh, less widget right and every product will get a product data model so product data model product data model create a constructor perfect and in my home uh, after my app bar in my body i'm going to pass a list view dot builder context let me just make it small so that you can see the code context comma index and for every item every list item will return a product tile widget and for every product data model i want to so now you know that uh, this is my loaded success state and this state is actually holding my products list you can see products list is there so i can say that this is a success state so i can say that final success state is equal to uh, my state which i am getting as my home loaded success state perfect and now i can access the variables that are there in this loaded success state so product data model will be uh, my success state at index at uh, sorry uh, success state dot products at index products at index perfect 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 you can see in my body i'm having a list dot builder i'm having a product a tile widget and every product tile widget was asking for a product data model and that product data model i'm getting from my success state because the success state takes products and this product is nothing but a list of product data model right so every product tile widget is going to get its own product data model so let's go in home dot dot and let's define the item uh, number so it will be number of items that are there in this list so item count it will be success state dot products dot length simple so how many products i'm getting from my block i should only render those many widgets those many product tiles right so let's see so i'm not going to get anything because my product tile widget is container so let's make it a container with some uh, margin let's say 10 and let's add some padding h insets dot all 10 let's say then i'm going to have a child i'm going to have a column i'm going to have children in my children i'm going to have guys if you have any uh, doubts please uh, keep on asking in the chat box i'm exactly in front of the chat box so you can keep asking so children it will be first of all in my product tile i want to have an image then title description price right so let's do it so in my children i'll have a container a height of let's say 200 and width of let's say width of let's say double dot max finite and i'm going to have i'm going to have something over here but let's first of all build text it will be a product data model that I've receiving from in this file dot name and then I'm going to have a description perfect let's save it and let's save the home dot dot or let's just refresh 
not found dot html okay so in my product data i just don't want this yeah you can see i can see my product tiles let's make them beautiful right so first of all i'll have a decoration box decoration image decoration image in my decoration image uh, yeah, yeah definitely i'll be sharing the source code of this complete project no worries network image then it will be product data model dot image url let's save it beautiful i'm seeing the product images uh, why this image was not loaded i'll have a different image but this image doesn't look good so what i'll do is i'll have fit box fit dot cover okay why this image is not loaded let's bring one image of bread image copy image address let's update our data Network image example.com milk dot okay 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 mm, cdn example okay i was changing the description that's a very very silly mistake i should make it this my description will be let's say brown brown bread tasty So now I can see all my images, right? Let's format it. Perfect. Now let's give it some border or some color. So that actually we feel good on working on this project otherwise. So uh, let's give some color to the box or let's give it a decoration. So decoration, box decoration. Let's give it a border, border dot all color. Let's say colors dot black and we will give it some border radius. Okay, let's give it some constant sized box. height 20 and let's make the column as cross axis alignment dot start and my name will be style text style font size will be 18 font weight will be font weight dot bold i'm not explaining the ui part much because you guys are already experts of UI and this is good. This looks good actually. Let's not waste time in the UI part because we have a lot to cover right now. So what I'll do is after this uh, text, I'll have price mm, perfect price dot to string because price was double perfect 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 so let's put, put a dollar mark right now a dollar why is this dollar in okay let's put it rs let's not waste time over here okay perfect right now this text will actually be a row 
so that I can have heart icon and my cart icon, right? So in this children, I want to have another row which will have uh, one icon button. Let's make let's call the icon buttons from my uh, home dot dart and my where are my yeah over here icon buttons let's copy them and let's paste them over here let's make it let's comment the on press part okay and now in this row i'm going to have main access alignment as main access alignment dot space between perfect 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 yes i got it nice slash to use dollar perfect uh Rahul, so let me make it slash dollar. Some error is still there. So S Rahul, if you can research more and get me with the good answer, then I'll definitely do it. Good. You guys are also watching it. Use, okay, backslash and backslash, sorry. Let's see. Perfect. That's a wonderful answer. Perfect. Thanks. I did not know about this. Okay. Then, uh, now it's time that we work with more events that when I'm going to click on this heart icon, my product should be added in the wishlist list. When I click on this cart icon or this bag, my product should be added in the bag list, right? So now you know that I need to manage or I need to have two more list. Right. So in my data, I will have one more file. I'll call it uh, cart items. Basically, it's not the real case. Basically, you will have a separate collection in your Firebase or in your uh, MongoDB to store these items because in let's say Amazon. So when you click on heart icon of Amazon product, then it is actually it actually goes to the database and actually adds your product that you have wishlisted on the database, right? But currently we don't want to waste time in database setup. So I'm just maintaining these two files, card items dot dot and wishlist items dot dot. So my Gmail ID is there in my channel about. So you can uh, email me there. Wishlist items dot dot. Perfect. So I'll have list of product data model product data model let's create a class cart items it will be a static list uh, i should also be able to change the data so let me make it a simple list for now let's not go in deeper parts list it will be product data model product data model and it will be cart items empty for now perfect and second list will be my wish list items wish list items so now when i'm going to click on this heart it should go and append this wish list uh, when i click on this cart oh, so, sorry when i click on this wish list it should add my product to my wish list items if i click on cart it should add my product to my cart list i think i messed up the sentence but i hope you got it so uh, let's do it using block so first of all uh, i need the block on this style page right actually you should use click listeners but let's not go in that part and let's call my block so i want my home block over here so home block home block let's import the home block let's add it in the constructor right now when my uh, favorite icon is clicked i want to say home block dot add an event and what should be that event home wish list button product wish list button clicked event that's it and same thing when i click on cart my product uh, cart button clicked event perfect so these are the two events that are added now let me see what i 
uh, okay home dot dart will pass the home block to my product tile widget that's it handled right in my home block yes so now when i'll click on this this message will be printed when i click on this card icon card product clicked uh, will be uh, printed let's refresh let's see if it happens thumbs up to this video if it does not happen uh, it's your choice what do you want to do so let's uh, see it's happening so this video deserves a like now right so we are wish listing a uh, product through block we are uh, we are adding a product to the cart to through block we are not actually adding it right now but we are able to do it because now we just need to add the item in the list right so you can see i can uh, i'm able to print that message that means my block events are working right that's great so now now what i want to do is now it's the part when i'm when i'm getting this event my wish list product clicked i want to append that list right so actually but don't you think that i should also get that product data because my this uh, cart items or this wish list items is requiring a list of product data model that means product data model should also be product data model will only be appended in this list but in my home block there is no way i am getting this uh, uh, product data model so how will i get it right so these two events product uh, cart button clicked and wish list button clicked will have a product data model so final product data model clicked product so whatever product i clicked on the product model of it will be passed to the block right so now i am teaching this is a crucial part so now you need to focus right that how you need to pass data to the block through events you know how to pass data through states the loaded success rate we just saw but how can you pass data through events this is how right so first let me create a constructor generate a constructor over here also let me paste the same line so generate a constructor perfect now this will show an error that it is asking for the product so product data mod click product will be my product data model so over here also click product will be my product data model the model that i am just getting from my constructor over here right so now over here i can say that uh, yeah so this is wish list so wish list li items dot add and it should add my event dot click product this is how you pass your data to the block through events i hope it is clear so uh as rohal is asking that what is block so block is basically a state management package or a library or it's a way of writing code through which you can manage the state of your uh, application professionally right so you can see that this app we could have built in 20 25 minutes right you you, you could have just uh, uh, manage your data in your init state in your file and in the same home file you must have been doing the processes appending the list removing the item from the list everything you would have done there itself in just 20 minutes right but this is a standard way of writing the code because now when your apps will scale when you will be building a complete instagram app then this is going to play a very very significant role because you are not going to mess up the code right so block is just about not messing up the code that's it simple so i just added my item to my wish list right so now yeah i'll add my item to my cart list cart items dot add event dot click product now when i'm adding these items i also want to have a scaffold message that uh that your product has been added to wish list or your product has been added to the cart right so for this i will need a state because and that state will be an action state right so i can say that navigation states are handled okay so now i'll have two more states class home product uh item wish listed action state extends a home action state 
same i'll just copy and home product cart uh carted let's say i don't think it's a word but item is carted right so let's save it and i want to click over here i'll just uh go in my home block and for my wish list i'm going to emit this date and i'll just go over here copy my carted state and i'll just emit this state and yes now as these are the action states both of these states will be listened by my listener you can see that my listener is going to listen to my action states right so now over here i can say else if if my state is home carted state then i can say scaffold messenger dot of context dot show snack bar and my snack bar will say some text item carted right similarly copy it paste it over here item wish listed and my snack bar will say item wish listed uh yes subrat i am going to upload the source code on github and the video will also be there uh on my channel always right so now let's see if it works or not right let's just refresh now what is happening i'm having this item when i'm going to click on it an event will be added to the block the block is going to add this banana item in my wish list list and some state will be emitted let's see 1 2 3 <laughs> item wish listed 1 2 3 ka item carted you can see now let's see for this 1 2 3 item wish listed now let's see for cart 1 2 3 item carded you can see how beautifully it is happening all through block now you have learned how to do simple block operations how to handle events how to handle states everything i have learned in this uh, i think what is the uh, duration uh, we have been live from i guess 7 pm so it's 8:36 1 so and a half hour in 1 and a half hour you have learned how to manage block events and block states right so my gmail id is not present okay i'll just add my gmail id right over here so i'll just write it over here so yeah this is my email id if you have any queries or doubts you can reach out to me over here or definitely you can reach out to me on linkedin and message me there so that will be an easier part right and do follow me on linkedin instagram let's take a break of 1 minute and let's see what i have in my social media so you can follow me on instagram where i am posting some uh post regarding internship jobs and some simple technical things that i'm doing in my life or some tech tips you can follow me for that and in my linkedin you can see uh whatever videos i'm posting or whatever new things that are happening in my in my tech life or in the tech life as in the world i'm just posting about that so if you are interested you can follow me on linkedin and instagram and you can definitely reach out to me through these platforms right so yes let's continue sesha is saying must uh, much appreciated for teaching us please bring more videos definitely i'm not going anywhere i'm going to post such amazing videos so also let me know that whether you guys are from college or you guys are freshers or you guys are working professionals you are students just append in the chat box so that i know what type of content should i bring for you if you guys are in college then i'll bring internships jobs related content if you guys are students then i'll bring high school or how to get a good college type of uh, videos so let's go yeah till then i'll just tell you the theoretical part what next we are going to do over here as you know that my list uh, is appended my 
cart list and my wish list is appended now we are going to go in my uh, uh, wish list item wish list uh, page and we are going to see those uh, items that are wish listed and the items that are carted right now i'll give you a homework that the homework will be that you need to manage removing of the items right so i guess you can do it so what you have to do is basically when you go on the cart page you again so all the icons that are there on the cart page that is this uh, I'll, I'll show you let's not go in the theoretical part it will be too much let's let's keep doing it right let's not stop till then you can put in the chat message chat box from which year or from uh, which background you are so i'll go in my home page uh, in the cart page so in the cart page also we are going to follow the same thing but my cart block will be listened right so over here i'm going to have a cart block and it will be final yes perfect and my scaffold let's wrap body this time or i need to have an app bar so in the app bar i'm going to say uh title okay actions it is there so nav bar title text and this is my cart so cart items and let's just save it and in my app uh, perfect in my body uh let's come out yeah in the body again i'm going to have a block consumer block consumer will have a builder so let's do one thing let's uh, have our body have a container and let's wrap this container with the block builder uh, sorry block consumer so we are using block consumer because we want to have listener also and you want to have builder also if you just want to build your ui then you can use block builder if you just want to listen the state then you can use block consumer block listener right but over here we want both so block listener and block uh, builder so block consumer is a combination of builder and listener right so listener also we are going to handle and the block will be cart block and block state will be cart state and the block we need to pass as cart block perfect so now in my container mm, yes so similarly what i'm going to do is in my cart event also i'm going to have a cart initial event so class cart initial event it is going to extends my cart event this is simple inheritance mm, and it is going to return me final uh, okay it is not going to take anything and initial state is handled now i'll have two more events class no one event yes mm, yeah i guess yes i'll have an event so class cart dislike event not dislike unwish list is a word or not remove from wish list cart remove okay this is a cart not a wish list so it will be cart remove from cart event right and it is going to extend my cart event let's make this event for now and my states will be class cart success state over here also i'm going to have an abstract uh, class cart action state cart state perfect i explained everything in my home block so you can see why i created an action state what are these states you can actually see my home block part just a back uh, okay yeah this is good so in my success state i am going to have list of products only those products which were carted by me right so final list of product data model cart items 
right create a constructor perfect now let's go in block and let's handle this initial event so i'll just remove this on this event just whenever you are reading a code just read it like a story so on this event i want to run a function what is the function name this is the function name with small c but is this function uh, like written no it's not written let's create this method or create this function let me make it small yeah so now i need to uh, have uh, i need to just uh, emit my, or you can have loading state if you want but i just want to emit my cart success state and this cart items will be nothing but my cart items perfect perfect right so this is going to emit my success state with my items that i put it in the cart right so i'll just come to all the doubts that i'm seeing in the chat box just in a minute uh just a minute yeah so now in the cart dot dart i want to have an initial state function and in this init state i'll have my cart block i'll add an initial event so cart initial event so this initial event is going to run this method and it is going to emit my cart items or it is going to emit my success state so similarly in the cart dot dart i'm having this uh, block consumer in the listen when i will say that i just want to listen when my current state is a uh, cart action state because listen listener we want to implement when we want to have a actionable thing when, when i want to take an action like in the previous home block we uh, take an action of passing the scaffold message right and build when i use build when i want to build my state when i get my current state as not an action state so when my state will not an action state then my ui will be rebuilt so not an action state perfect now over here in the builder i'll have a switch case the switch case says state dot uh, runtime and if my state is cart success state i'll say that my success state is i'll just saving my state in a variable state as my cart success state and i want to return so if i'm returning i don't want this break statement if i'm returning i'm my return will be uh, i'll just copy the same ui so uh cart uh where is it in the product tile yeah so i will be having this product tile right so in the home dot dart i'm having this list view dot builder so copy this in the card dot dart let's return this simple and success state dot cart items dot length product tile widget let's import it home block okay yeah so it was asking for home block so what i'll do is i'll just create a same ui for my cart tile so cart tile dot dot cart tile widget dot basically you can reuse that widget but i'm not going to go in uh, like having some conditions or uh, that part so i'm just creating a new widget that will be more simpler because it's already been uh, around 2 hours so i just want to wrap this session otherwise it will be boring so i'm just taking copy in this product tile widget and i'm pasting in the cart tile widget and i'm just going to rename this product tile widget perfect and it is going to take cart block not my home block and let's copy this let's paste like this and let's comment these two functions let's worry about them later perfect 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 okay now in my cart dot dart i'll return cart tile widget this will take cart block this will take cart block success states dot cart items at index format and let me just refresh uh we are having an event the event will pass a success yes everything is done let's refresh
ब्रो मैं आपसे मिलना चाहता हूँ सो डेफिनेटली वेन एवर यू कम टू पुणे यू कैन ड्रॉप एन ई मेल एंड वी कैन डेफिनेटली मीट और यू कैन पुट मे मैसेज ऑन इंस्टाग्राम ऑन लिंकड इन एंड वी कैन डेफिनेटली मीट दैट्स नॉट एन प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम वेयर हैव यू लर्न फ्लटर लॉजिक सो बेसिकली आई ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड वन वीडियो ऑन माई चैनल शेयरिंग ऑल माई रिसोर्सेज ऑल माई रिसोर्सेज फ्रॉम वेयर आई लर्न फ्लटर राइट सो यू कैन डेफिनेटली वॉच दैट एंड आई ऑल्सो प्रोवाइडेड पी डी एफ ऑफ रिसोर्सेज सो यू कैन डेफिनेटली वॉच दैट वीडियो वेयर आई शेयर ऑल माई रिसोर्सेज ऑफ फ्लटर bro when uh, next live uh, so i am thinking to go live uh, on some topics definitely it will not always be flutter it can be any topic related to your internships jobs uh, guidance normal guidance technical guidance anything on every saturday so do let me know if any other time you want to have or i am thinking of saturday i am in class 11th and with commerce stream so i think bca is better to go in it field what do you think so BCA, so I yeah BCA is like computer applications study also only, but I think that in IT field it doesn't matter from which field you are. If you are good at coding, if you are if you have done some good projects, definitely it doesn't matter from which background you are. People are shifting from mechanical branch to uh, IT field and they are literally doing great work there, right? So it doesn't matter the course which you take. Colleges are not going to teach you anything. So it's only your self study. have you used google fit api yes i have experience in google fit and apple health kit so it's quite impressive like it's a really good project if you are making so let's move further so now as i restarted so all my cart items and my wish list items will be gone right so i need to click again over here my item is wish listed i'll click over here my cart item is carted so i just carted this grapes so if i just go on cart i can see all of them okay so i guess my block is actually uh, maintaining the state of my variables so i think if i just refresh let's see if i just go on yeah so my cart items is now empty so now if i cart my bread and my eggs so these two items should i should see in my cart yes you can see bread and uh, eggs i can see in my cart right now if i just add grapes also to my cart i should see bread eggs and grapes right so all these three items are carted now for this cart icon i should show a different icon because these items are carted so cart tile widget i'll go over here mm, 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 mm. yeah shopping bag shopping bag perfect so this shows that these items are now carted right now what i want to do is uh, when i click on this item i want to remove it from the so this was your homework actually this is your homework so yeah so when you click again on this cart item you just need to remove it from the cart list so what you need to do is you actually need to go you need to fetch your cart items list you need to see that is this product data model there in the cart items yes definitely it is there so remove that right so it's simple right so this was the project i hope that you will do this part it's just a uh, a uh, simple part where you just need to uh, click on it and it is going to remove it from your cart items and i'll give you a simple hint when you will be removing it so over here i just created a function uh, i created an event cart remove cart event so i'll just create a event for it so block and i'll just have this function on this event i want to run this function right so let's create a method perfect now i'll just write pseudo code for it because it will be easier for you to actually take it from here so first of all you need to uh, get your cart items then you need to check is your product model the product model which you are going to get from your event so is your product model product model 
there in your cart items definitely it will be there because that's why we are running this event so this is like always true but you need to actually see it so if my product is there then run a function run a function to remove that product model remove that product model from that cart items simple and emit a state emit a, a cart item removed state right remove this state now there is one trick when i'm just clicking on it i actually don't want to show this tile again in the screen that means i want to rebuild right i want to rebuild so if you want to rebuild that means your state will not be an action state it will be a simple state right do you want me to show this i'll show it right now and then you can do the same thing for wish list just write yes or no if you write yes then uh, then you means uh, that means that you want me to show it right now right now if you say no then i'll wrap up the session and we can go to the normal questions yeah definitely uh, subrat i'm going to push this code on github and you will get the repository link plus this video will be live on my channel also so fastly write yes or no if you want to show me yes yes i got to yes that's it let me just show you so for this uh cart item removed event what i'll do is in my cart tile in my cart tile i'm having this uh, shopping bag i'll say first of all i need to add an event right that's yes i need to add an event so cart block cart block dot add my cart remove from cart event and this event should actually take the model product model which i want to remove so final product data model product data model and it will take uh, it i'll just get a constructor and it is going to i'll just pass my product data model product data model right so now i can see that my cart block has actually received my product model so these two are already done cart items is nothing but it's a list of items but actually i write get your cart items because so that you can get it from repository or you can get it from database in actual scenarios right but over here we just have uh, cart items and it's done right so i'll just remove these two items right so now i'll what i'll do is my cart items dot remove event dot product data model so this is going to actually remove this product data model from my cart items right and now i'll emit now can somebody tell me what should i emit should i create a separate state for it should i create a new state for it or what should i emit don't you think that if i just emit this success state again my state will be rebuilt because in my cart or dart my build when is listening to that cart state right and over here also it is listening to my cart success state so that means if i emit the cart success state my whole ui the whole ui of this cart items page will automatically be rebuilt with the new cart items list because i just updated my cart items list you can see i just updated it right so i'll just say cart success state that's it that's it it should work if it doesn't work i'm here i'll resolve the error and now let's try to refresh and check the app from the start so it is loading one two three it's loaded i'll see the cart items perfect uploaded list will be rendered that's it updated list will be rendered correct subrat you are definitely and 100 right so i'll say my cart items there is nothing because i just refresh the app i'll add bananas to my cart item carted and i'll just go to my cart page i can see this item and i'll click over here but yes you can see it is gone because my state is now rebuilt right basically now what you can do is you can emit two states or what you can do is you can actually uh emit a two state yeah you can definitely emit two states one state can be an action state and using that action state you can uh have a scaffold message that your bananas item is uh removed from this list so now let me add 
टू थ्री आइटम्स लेट मी एड बनानाज अगेन लेट मी एड ग्रेप्स अगेन लेट मी एड ब्रेड अगेन ओवर हेयर आई कैन सी दैट थ्री आइटम्स आर देयर इफ आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू रिमूव बनानास आई क्लिक ओवर हेयर लेट मी रिमूव दिस बनानास इज गॉन ग्रेप्स आर गॉन ब्रेड इज गॉन इट इज वर्किंग सीमलेसली इट इज वर्किंग विदाउट एन ईयर आई होप दैट यू लाइक दिस सेशन स्केफोल्ड मैसेज या सो यू कैन डेफिनेटली डू इट यू कैन एक्चुअली पास सो वट यू कैन डू इज यू कैन एक्चुअली क्रिएट वन मोर स्टेट यू कैन से दैट कार्ट रिमूवड एक्शन स्टेट एंड ओवर हेयर यू कैन पास वन मोर स्टेट यू कैन पास वन मोर स्टेट कार्ट रिमूवड एक्शन स्टेट एंड वट इट विल डू इज इट विल गो इन कार्ट डॉट डाट एंड ओवर हेयर यू कैन हैव अ लिसनर एंड इन द लिसनर यू कैन स्टेट एट इफ माई स्टेट इज कार्ट रिमूव एक्शन स्टेट शो अ स्कैफोल्ड मैसेज सिंपल सिंपल सुपर सिंपल राइट सो दिस विल बी योर होमवर्क राइट यू हैव टू कंप्लीट दिस पार्ट द स्कैफोल्ड मैसेज पार्ट एंड यू हैव टू कंप्लीट द विश लिस्ट पार्ट इफ यू आर डन विद इट टेक अ स्क्रीन शॉट अपलोड ऑन लिंक इन टैग मी आई एल रिप्लाई एंड आई एल कंग्रेचुलेट यू राइट सो आई होप दैट यू लाइक दिस सेशन एंड आई होप दैट दिस वॉज सुपर हेल्पफुल I hope that you will make beautiful apps using Flutter block. If you have some journal questions on Flutter or any tech stack or internship or job uh you can ask right now. Let's take the doubts or questions for 5 minutes and then we can go and do our own work. Welcome Subrat. I hope you enjoyed this complete session. Uh, Google Fit API I didn't find. Okay, uh, sure. I'll definitely see when I can make a tutorial on Google Fit API. Definitely. Tell me some Flutter for inspiration. Uh, so basically, uh, you can actually take inspiration from the fact that a lot of startups in India are adapting Flutter for their applications. Like Cred uh, is using Flutter. Ticker Tape by Small Case is using Flutter. then um, dream 11 is based on flutter bmw's application is built on flutter then um, uh, can you give me some example yeah google google pay gp is also having flutter uh, code in their repository so it's more than enough for inspiration right a lot of uh, such big companies are using flutter so i guess this is enough I really want to learn. Yeah, definitely you can uh, learn Flutter. It's a beautiful framework and it's growing day by day. So, I guess that's it. Still if you have any doubts, you can definitely reach out to me on LinkedIn and Instagram and I guess we should wrap up the session over here. I hope you liked it and uh, keep coding as I always say, keep coding, keep innovating and Thanks a lot. Bye guys.